So today grab a blanket. I'm gonna have a little seat on a blanket if you'd like to elevate your sit bones just a little bit, but we'll start in that seated position. So just take a moment here and shifting a little bit side to side, shifting forward and back, just starting to see where you are in your body this morning or today, wherever this finds you. So gently begin that little rocking. You might start small and then eventually grow that movement bigger forward and back. Okay, starting to connect with your breath. And then even finding a little mobility, more, a little more mobility through the spine as you round back and then lift the chest, come forward. Exhale, pull back. Give yourself a moment. Just kind of really feeling each movement, exaggerating that movement forward and back. Inhale, gently rocking forward, lifting your chest. Exhale, rounding back, hollowing out. And just two more. Inhale and exhale back. Last one. Come back to center and seated tall. It's now shifting your shoulders from left to right. So as you shift your shoulders, it's not so much of a lean or a shifting laterally or a little side bend. I want you to think about just shifting your entire rib cage from side to side, keeping your hips steady. So as though you had your rib cage and you could just pick it up and then just slide it over and then to the other side and slide it over. So your shoulders stay pretty parallel to the floor and just shifting them a little side to side. Do you feel a little more action in your side waist this way? And just relax your arms. You can shake out your hands. Fingertips can be on the floor. Just making sure that you're not shrugging the shoulders. And then we're gonna add that all the way around with your forward and back, little cat-cow tilts. So you'll inhale, start to sweep forward, and then exhale, scooping, hollowing, rounding back and moving it around, and then forward again, all the way around. Inhale, hands can be again on the floor, they can be in front of you or on your knees. Take one more here, and we're gonna reverse that circle, of course. So I want you to shift it back to the other direction, and then pull back. Inhale, exhale, rolling back. Three more, just move at your own pace, and take as much exaggeration with your shoulders as you like, and just start to really get that spine mobile, your shoulders moving. And we come back to center, landing right at center for a moment. Now inhale, sweeping the arms up and then reaching over left hand, reaches get very long on that left side waist, sinking down just a little bit on the right side, but relax your shoulder. Inhale, coming up, anchoring right sit bone, right hip as you reach over to the left. And then back up again. Think about getting really long and tall right at center. And then keeping that length as you reach over rather than just collapsing into the bottom waist. Really reach it out. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, sweeping. And then back to center again. So now this time, take the left arm, reach it up and over, take a pause. And then rotating, like you're taking your sternum towards your knee, reach, come back up, inhale. Do that again. So just imagine that you're taking your sternum towards your knee rather than your arm toward the floor. Okay, so your arm is just coming along for the ride. Inhale, lean back, exhale, reaching at a diagonal from your hip to your fingers. And then come all the way back to center and up. Again, to the other side. It doesn't matter how far over you go. Okay, I just want you to rotate gently here, reaching, and then come back up and roll back. Inhale. Exhale, reach. And inhale, coming up. One more time. Exhale, reach it out. Inhale, come all the way up. 
And just switching the way that your legs are crossed. So shake your legs out for a moment and then take the opposite leg in front or on top, however you were seated here. As you sit tall, turning to your left with your exhale, just begin to rotate, moving your hands across. So right arm sweeps across or to the front of you, depending on how it's, how, what's more comfortable for you. Sit up tall again, take a deep breath in, exhale, rotate around a little further. And then last breath, come back to center. Inhale. As you exhale, rotate to the opposite side. Take a moment to pause. Really let your weight sit back into your left sit bone as you're rotating, rather than leaning forward towards your front knee or toward the knee that you're facing. And we come back to center again. And then sweeping the arms up, gently coming forward. So just let your hands land somewhere in front of you. You can stay right there or elevated higher on blocks. Begin to slide forward. If you want to go a little deeper and you're feeling a little more warmed up now, possibly just take a little sway even side to side and feel the movement in your low back and stretch through your hips. And then moving back to center again. As you come back to center, we'll take the legs out again. Just straighten the legs fully out reaching out through the heels in seated staff pose or dandasana. So pushing out through the feet, check out the big toes. So the big toes will be a little closer together than your heels. It's just as though you were standing in mountain pose. Shoulders to relax back. So we're not trying to stay stiff and rigid, but we do want to sit upright and tall. Pelvis is in neutral. And you're lifting up tall through the crown of your head. Just let your hands rest either beside you or just resting gently on your thighs for a moment, closing your eyes and just feel how you are supported, just sitting tall. Okay, so your hip flexors have to work a little bit here, but we also want the core to engage to keep you lifted and upright without too much support from your hips. Take a deep breath in, exhale it out. And just wiggle the toes, shake out the feet a little bit, and we'll move on over into our tabletop position. So hands and knees, finding comfort for your knees. If you'd like that extra cushion, always feel free to keep your blanket or just place it somewhere nearby so it'll be available. Moving again through your cat cow. So we'll just start with the belly falling, shoulders rolling back. Exhale, rounding, hollowing out, lifting up. Let that movement just become very fluid and natural, gently lifting, rising and falling with your breath. Inhale and exhale. Let's take two more here, just moving at your own pace. Whenever you've completed that last one, just pausing in a neutral tabletop position and very similar to when we were seated. Now we'll just kind of create a little circle. So as you lift up into a little bit of a cat stretch here, shift your rib cage over to the left, then let the belly fall, let it sweep across to the right, pull back up and round it out over to the left. So you're just moving in a circle with your rib cage. Don't worry if you feel a little uncoordinated or if your tail is moving as well, it's okay. But think about if your rib cage could move in a circle all the way around, like a circle around your hips. And then take that movement. We'll reverse that circle. So as your belly falls and you're in that little arch, you're going to pull it back over to the left, round up and go back over to the right. Inhale, exhale, rounding out, hollow it out. Let's take two more. Last one. Back into center, into a neutral space. Taking the left leg, reaching it back, reach the right fingertips forward. So for now, we'll just take fingertips to the floor, toes to the floor. So this is your starting position. I want you to pull up through the rib cage, through the core. Inhale, start to gently lift that right arm, left leg up. 
and then bring it back down to tap. And take it up, inhale, and exhale down, just shaking in with your left hand as well. Fingers are slightly turned out. That feels good for your wrist. You just have to adjust according to how it feels for you, but check out your elbow without locking it. Okay, just a few more here. Sink strong in your core. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale down. Picking that last one. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Very good. So taking your right hand right underneath your shoulder, this time now walk your left hand forward, another step forward. Left leg lifts up and crosses back. So let those toes turn under. You're crossing it back behind the right leg. Now shifting your entire body, shift your shoulders, look over, find that foot. You're just gazing back, not because you're straining your neck, but because you're actually making a shift with your upper body. And then you can just gaze back, squeezing in our thighs closer together, still lifting up through the core line. So you're drawing the belly slightly up, lifting the rib cage, keeping your tail long. Take another breath here. As you bring your shoulders back to center, now starting to slide back. So just keep that leg crossed back, point the toes and slide your way all the way back. Just folding over your front leg. Let your hands rest under the head. Relax the shoulders, the face, and the jaw. Three more rounds of breath, continuing to say soft in the face, soft through the shoulders, soft in the neck. As the hands begin to reach forward, turning the toes under on the back foot, lift the knee and just shift yourself forward again. Back to where you started, left leg is still extended back, reach right arm forward, inhale. Now this time, bring knee and elbow underneath to meet in the little crunch. So inhale, reach it out. Exhale, bring it under. Inhale, reaching. Good. Exhale, bring it in. You want to keep your head and chest lifted, shoulders relaxing back. Three more crunches. Inhale, gaze is slightly ahead. And two. Last one. Very good. And then release it. Bring the hand down, the knee back underneath the hips, shifting your hips back into child's pose. Take a break here. Resting, stretching as wide of a child pose as you would like. So knees can be quite separated or they can be tucked underneath you. It's your choice. Moving the hands forward again, coming back up into your table positions. Make sure the knees are back underneath the hips. We're getting ready for that second side. We'll take the right leg back, toes turned under, shifting your left hand forward. So just make like a little claw with your fingertips. Inhale, starting to lift both arm and leg up and then bring it down. Inhale, drive up through your core reach and back down inhale and exhale your gaze is just toward the floor maybe toward the top of your mat a little making sure your neck stays long without collapsing inhale opposite arm and leg reach bring it down keeping space around the neck without shrugging two more Inhale, exhale down, and last one. Reach, bring it down. So now left hand goes back underneath the shoulder, right hand steps forward, and we pick up the right foot again, cross it behind, and then just shift the shoulders, kind of push into that right hand. 
You can even pull your left hand back a little further, shifting your shoulders and looking back at that foot. Remembering that it's not about the neck. It's not about just kind of scrunching up to see if you can see your foot. It's about really shifting the entire upper body. So you feel that more along your right side waist as you're looking back to the left. As you're trying to find that right foot that you've crossed back. So you're pulling up through the core, a little tuck of that tail, just a slight. Take another breath here. Then coming back to center, we'll send the left hand, or excuse me, right hand back, even with the left again, bringing the left leg up. Now this time, reach your left hand again. Inhale, knee and elbow come together. So right arm, or excuse me, right leg, left hand. Reach, inhale, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, unfold, gaze forward. Exhale, bring it in. And you can always make a fist if it bothers your wrist here, or just elevate your right elbow onto a prop. Let's go, last three, two, last one, releasing, send yourself back into child's pose, stretch, and take a little moment there to wiggle out your wrist, making circles or anything that feels good. You can interlace your hands and kind of do just a little kind of figure eight with your hands. And then the other direction, there's no right or wrong, just move around a little. As you bring yourself forward again, inhale, come all the way up and then forward down onto your mat, all the way to the floor. So bring the hands right underneath the shoulders, or excuse me, right underneath your head. Just bring them across the top of the mat. And we'll bend the left knee as you reach back with your right hand. So try to, or excuse me, with your left hand. So we're going to bend that left knee, left hand to foot. If that's not quite accessible, just roll yourself to your side and see if you can bring that knee up to take hold of it. And then flop yourself back over onto your belly. Okay, so just find a way or take a strap to hold it. So from here, you're going to pull your heel towards your glute and then try to push down into that space where the crevice is there, the crease of your hip flexors. So right where your hip is meeting your thigh. Stretching into the quads. You can rest your head down. And take about three more rounds of breath here. Last full breath. And then releasing on that side, we'll switch sides. So right knee bending, pull your heel toward glute. If you can just reach back and take hold of it, do so. Otherwise, feel free to kind of bring yourself over to your left side. Draw your knee up to your chest, take hold of that ankle. And then you can bring the heel toward the glute. Okay, a little easier that way. And just roll yourself back over. Let the head rest. Shoulder pulling back, press down into the pubic bone. So you want to decrease the space of that hip crease. So really try to flatten that out a little. As your heel is drawing towards your glute, deep breaths. About two more big deep breaths here. Releasing that side. Hands come underneath the shoulders once more, lifting up and then back into child's pose for just a moment. Inhale, coming up and forward, stepping your right foot forward. Feel free to take blocks here if you like that extra elevation. Feel free to make that your own. I'm just going to do it with fingertips today, but always listen to your own body and take what works better for you. So once you find yourself in your low lunge, knee in line with your heel, walk yourself up. You could have your hands on blocks or on your thigh. Lifting through the chest, shoulders relaxing back. And taking just a few deep rounds of breath here. I want you to lift up out of your hip for just a moment. Okay? And then start to draw that hip point up a little more. And now shift yourself back 
down. Okay, so you're still lifting upward through that pelvic, that pelvic bowl. Shoulders relaxing, take another breath. And then releasing as you shift back into a little half split. Just take that hip right over the knee, not past the knee line. So if you need to walk your foot forward, go ahead and do so. Hands are elevated on blocks or something higher if needed. Take about two more rounds of breath here. Relax the shoulders again. And coming back to center. Bend that knee. Walk the hands along the inside. We're going to come down to the palms or on blocks again. Your choice, as always. You're going to start to walk over to the left, keeping your right knee tracking with your heel so it's not falling in towards your shoulder this way. I'll show you. Okay, so you don't want it to fall in as you walk over. I want you to keep pushing it out as you're walking over to the left. Okay, so you're walking away from your knee, but your knee is pressing to the opposite side, keeping the whole foot attached to the floor. Take another breath. We're going to continue to spin ourselves around, so you may have to reorient yourself with your screen. But we're going to continue to shift around, straightening that right leg as you shift all the way around. And we've spun it around, now taking that left foot forward. Okay, so just switching legs essentially. Now we're facing the other direction, or you can spin yourself around. Coming up into your low lunge again, taking blocks as needed. Lift up. Pull that hip point up so that you're not just dumping forward with your pelvis and then moving back into that deeper version of the stretch. Relax the shoulders and the face. Take about two more rounds of breath here. We start to shift back into that half split hands elevated or to the floor with finger fingertips. Straightening out the front leg, shimmy that foot forward a little bit so you're not shifting back too far. Deep rounds of breath. Last full breath here, and you start to bend that front knee. Hands go along the inside again, starting with the knee pressing toward pinky toe side, walking your hands over to the right. So you're along the inside of that front leg walking away from it, but you're still pressing your knee toward the outside. So take a couple more rounds of breath while you're here. Go down as low or as deep as you like. Take blocks if you would like them. We're going to spin it around again. So you're going to start to straighten this left leg just a little bit, shifting back, walking yourself around, coming all the way back around to where we started. And now we move back into downward facing dog. Finding your down dog here. Inhale, coming forward, knees to floor or full plank, your choice. Moving down through Chaturanga, elbows pulling in. Inhale, lifting into Cobra. Exhale down, lifting up, moving back once more into downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward. Drop the knees or full plank. Down through Chaturanga, up through Cobra or up dog. Back down, inhale. Exhale, lifting, press back. Let's take one more of these cycles. Inhale, shifting. Slowly lower to the floor. Up through Cobra or up dog. Shoulders pull back, elbows are in. Inhale. Exhale, press back. Come back to center, dropping knees. So once again, if you like cushion, go ahead and take it. We'll be on the knees again for a moment. So sending your right leg back as you did before, left hand reaches forward. Lift your right leg up, bend the knee. Sweep the left hand back. See if you can find that foot. If it doesn't quite reach, just reach toward it. Don't, don't worry about holding it. If you can reach it and hold it, go ahead and take hold here. Push the foot away from you. Lift it up toward the sky. 
Gaze us forward. Take another breath. Good, and release it down. And it's switching sides. So we'll take the left leg back, inhale. Lift it up, bend the knee. Sweep the left, or excuse me, right arm forward. Sweep it back, finding the foot or the ankle, or just even a pants leg that you can hold on to. Inhale, kick the foot away from you, push it into your hand. And then like you're trying to push it up to the sky, take two more rounds of breath. Releasing slowly, bring it back down. Very nice. Take yourself up and back into downward facing dog. This time walking up all the way to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, start to rise halfway up, flat back. Exhale down. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Hands meeting at center. And inhale, sweeping up. Go ahead and have a little seat like you're moving into chair. So sending your hips back, just like you're gonna sit down in chair. Sweeping your left foot back into a high lunge. Sweep the arms back and just interlace or place one hand on top of the other as you lift away from the low back, opening up through the chest. Come forward with the chest, a little humble forward. Take okay, about two more rounds of breath here. Trying to aim yourself slightly to the inside of that right leg. Release the hands, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Sending your right foot back, meeting for plank. Knees up or down, down for your chaturanga, your choice. You can make it as complicated or as challenging or as much work or as little work as you like. So you can always skip those transitions even. If you're just wanting something a little more gentle today, walk the hands forward and you can go with smaller movements. So we're back to forward bend, lifting halfway, inhale, exhale down, inhale, sweep all the way up and then we'll have a seat and chair. Moving down, hips move back. Good. Weight is in your heels, but also in your big toes. Shifting your weight to your left foot. Pick up the right foot. Send it back into a high lunge. It's okay if your balance gets off. Just find a focal point ahead of you. Reach the hands back. Interlace. Lifting through the chest without overarching. Humbling yourself forward. Try not to rely just on that front hip flexor. You're kind of hanging out slightly to the inside. Last full breath. Sweep the arms up. All the way back down. You could completely just skip out of your transition or take the transition with me. Lowering to the mat. Lifting up. Inhale. Exhale down. Lifting up. Pressing back. Inhale, shifting or walking yourself forward. Back into forward bend. Inhale, rising halfway. And exhale down. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Hands meeting right at center. So balancing here. All right, so let's take a moment. Find a place that you feel like you could balance it, even if it's off of your mat or standing near a wall or a chair. Could be helpful in front of you, something, a piece of furniture nearby. Okay, we'll balance standing on the left foot. Gaze is forward. You're going to bring your right foot up behind you, taking hold with either your hand or a strap. Remember, if it's difficult to reach your heel behind you or your foot behind you, just bring your knee up, slide it down, and then try to drop it down. Okay, and you can do all of that while still holding on to something okay, with your left hand. So inhale. I want you to start to shift your right knee back your right foot up. Reach your left hand forward or hold on to a piece of furniture or a wall. Just moving into that Najarasana, the dancer's pose. Reach it forward. Just find your focal point. Deep breaths. If, you balance, if your balance is wavering, it's okay. Just 
do the best you can. Stay where you are. Take another breath. Bring it back down. And release that side. Reestablish your center. Finding your mountain pose or Tadasana. Feel grounded. Feel secure for a moment with both feet planted. Shifting your weight to your right foot. Same thing, left knee can come to the front or all the way to the back, depends on how you want to get there. Sliding your hand down, dropping that knee. Reaching right arm forward. So do keep in mind, this is not just a you hinging forward. This is actually just lifting your leg behind you. Everything else will follow. So don't think about lift, don't think about coming forward too much. So it's not so much hinge as it is lift. Lift behind you, push the foot away, 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 and that's where the leverage is going to come from, not you moving your chest forward. Okay. So just try to stay lifted. Take two more rounds of breath. Well, balance is going. Don't watch me, though. Okay. Take that last breath. Good. Slowly come out. Bring it down. And recenter yourself. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lifting up halfway and then stepping back, dropping the knees, cross your ankles, or just sweep your feet out. Find a way that you can come all the way back for a moment. Feet unfold out in front of you. Come all the way down. So we did some pretty big back bends and balancing back bends. We're just going to counter with some smaller back bends. So I want you to keep your feet parallel, just moving into little bridges. Shoulders pull back or just relax them onto the floor behind you. Lift the hips and lower back down. Start to sweep the arms with your hips. So as your hips lift, arms go overhead. You have to speed up the arms and slow down the hips to get everything down to the floor at the same time. And then overhead again, inhale, exhale. Two more, nice and slow, just moving fluid bridge. Last one. Let the arms relax by your sides, knees swaying side to side. As you move back to center, we'll take the right knee into the chest, give it a little hug, circle the ankle around a few times, take your left leg straight up to the sky. So just right in line with your hip here, I want you to inhale. As you exhale, try to push the foot, the heel of your foot up a little higher, but press the small of your low back, the sacral space, into the floor at the same time. So keeping your rib cage heavy, inhale. Exhale, see if you can lengthen that left leg a little more like it's moving up out of the socket just a bit. Now starting to slowly lower it down. You continue to feel as though you were slightly tucking your tail here as that leg lowers. So just hovering it above the mat for a moment, draw the right knee in, push out through the left leg. And now eventually that left foot lands or the left leg lands on the floor completely. Moving into reclining twist, just take the left hand to the knee, right arm out to the side. And with your next exhale, twisting to the left, just helping kind of draw that right knee over Move your hips as needed, kind of, I tend to need to move my hips back in line with my shoulders to feel right in my spine. So let that right foot land wherever it wants. Take about two more rounds of breath here. Come back to center. And we'll place the right foot on the floor. Just reposition your hips. Bring that left knee in, give it a hug. Circle the ankle a few times, taking your right leg straight up to the sky, flex and point a couple times, and then push through the heel. 
As you take a breath in, let those ribs become heavy. Exhale, push the foot up to the sky, but also keep weight on the sacrum. So there's a little, almost like a push-pull action, your knee pulling in, your back of your pelvis heavy, leg feeling light. Take a breath in. Again, see if you can lengthen that right leg out, but keep weight on the back of your pelvis. Now, next breath, slowly lower that leg down, but let it hover just before it hits the floor. So take that moment of pause, draw the left knee in deeper, right foot reaching, and then maybe move it into the middle line just a little bit. Let that right leg drop, shift your hips to the left just a little inch or so. And now twisting to your right. So let your right hand help that knee over, left arm relaxes. Let your left foot just land somewhere on the floor or wherever it's comfortable. Take another breath. And move back to center here. Take a big full body stretch, reach the arms and the legs. Separate the feet about the width of your mat, arms moving down by your sides. And just take a little moment, kind of shift the hips a little, wiggle it out, wiggle the shoulders, let yourself settle, circle the wrists and the ankles, and then just pause, letting yourself become heavy. Eyes might even close here if you feel comfortable with your eyes closed. Bringing more awareness inward. Just noticing how you're feeling. Notice if you feel a little, a little more seamless all the way from your feet, up your legs, up your arms. Whereas before, maybe you had real awareness of each joint, each part of your body. Now everything being more connected Feeling your back resting into the mat, shoulders just open. Take a deep breath in the space between your eyes. Let your eyes themselves become heavier, sinking into the sockets. Tongue away from teeth. As you enjoy these last few moments of stillness, find a moment of appreciation with your next breath. Appreciation for the breath itself, the life force that sustains you. Appreciation for the movements, the abilities of your body today, for getting yourself here to do this self-care this time that's spent just for you to re-energize. And as you're ready, reaching your arms over the head, start to just awaken here, wiggle the arms, the feet, the hands. Circle out the wrists and the ankles again. And then when you're ready, starting to bend your knees one at a time, and we'll roll over to one side, just resting for a second here, using your arm like a pillow. Take a deep breath and straighten out that top leg very gently, pressing yourself up back to seated. And as we meet here, just take that last opportunity for stillness, sitting tall, closing eyes or with a soft gaze. Taking a big sweep up, letting the hands meet at center, hands moving down to the heart and take the last bow here, just honoring your own inner wisdom. And thanks for showing up today. Namaste.